afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to your Nelly Diverse skincare videos. Happy Monday. Today, we are going to be talking about what the difference is between having a dry or dehydrated skin. This is probably one of the biggest issues in, well, I mean, there's so many different issues in the aesthetics industry, but as far as the consumers go, so for you guys who are listening, when you're going to purchase skincare products, whether it is um, at a store, it could be from a spa directly, sometimes we kind of just buy things based on what the packaging says, but we end up buying products that are not necessarily the products that we should be using. So for somebody who, let's say, has a dehydrated skin, tends to purchase products that are going to be for dry skins, and then they think everything is way too heavy. So let's just clarify what the difference is between having a dry skin versus a dehydrated skin. So your dry skin clients, so those of you at home who are wondering, how can I tell if I have dry skin? So what you can do, it's actually super simple. One of the biggest indicators is, can you see your pores? When you look at yourself, uh, especially in the areas where we tend to have m more sebaceous secretions, which would be your facial axis, so your T-zone. If you feel like your pores are very dilated, chances are you don't have dry skin. If your pores are dilated, it means that your skin is producing oil. The other thing that you can look at is if you have a lot of um, desquamation, so flakiness, basically. If you notice a lot of flakiness on your skin, so a lot of dead skin cells that are kind of shedding off, it could be either that you lack exfoliation, but if you already know that you exfoliate two, three times per week, ideally not three times per week, that does get a bit much, <coughs> excuse me. But if you do exfoliate twice a week and that you still feel like you constantly have flakiness no matter what, in that case, that is also a good indicator. So very, very tight pores or a lot of um, dead skin cells pretty much everywhere, good indicator for that. If you have dehydrated skin now, you can definitely see your pores and you might also have a tendency to have a little excess oil in, again, the facial T-zone, the facial axis, uh, which is your T-zone essentially. So for those people, your skin is most likely dehydrated. Realistically speaking, almost every single person has a uh, dehydrated skin just because we tend to not necessarily drink enough water or we tend to also not exfoliate enough. So if you're not exfoliating or if you do exfoliate, once a month or once every two weeks kind of thing, it's really not enough to have your products penetrate. So you need to, yes, drink a lot of water because if your insides are not hydrated, your skin cannot stay hydrated either. But then on the other side, you do need to exfoliate again once to twice a week with an appropriate exfoliating product. Don't over exfoliate because that is also going to make your skin dry out and dehydrate much faster. So the other thing uh, when you're trying to decide dry or dehydrated, of course, always refer yourself to your actual skincare professional so that they can give you a little bit more clarification based on your specific needs, but watch out with what type of cleanser you're using. So if you're using a cleanser that is very, very high in sulfates, chances are if your skin doesn't need it, which most people don't actually need something that's that high in sulfates, your skin is going to dehydrate itself much faster. And that's why every single time you either just finish cleansing your skin or when you get out of the shower, your face, it feels like your face is going to crack. If your face feels like it's going to crack, you're not using the right cleanser. So always refer to your skincare professional. Now onto the actual solution part of this video. So for those of you who have the dehydrated skin, the Hydrocell Plus is probably my number one go-to. And this cream is really good because you can recommend it to such a wide variety of people. It is pretty much an all skin types moisturizer. However, what it does is that it works on stimulating your own hyaluronic acid. We talk about hyaluronic acid all the time in anti-aging products, but it's actually actually good for your preventative as well. And this cream works on stimulating your natural hyaluronic acid, which is going to prevent dehydration and also prevent your first signs of aging. If you can get some type of prevention into your everyday moisturizer without necessarily going into some heavy duty um, anti-aging product, you should be doing it. So Hydrocell Plus day and night, uh, day and night cream and you can also use it around the eye contour as well to prevent the uh, first little fine lines that we tend to get. Then for the dry skins, we have the dry skin cream. Dry skin cream is for dry skins. So for those of you who feel like there's not enough cream in the world that you can apply to make your skin actually feel hydrated and nourished, you're going to go with this one. So this is going to bring you really all of the oils that you need, but again, without making you break out. One of the very common things that happen for someone, for someone who has that you're going to put such heavy products on top that not only do they not penetrate, but they actually end up causing breakouts because they kind of just clog the already extremely tight pores that you have. So 
dry skin cream to bring back all of the lipids and this is good for the flakiness it's good for dry skin but it can also be used for eczema and psoriasis skin it really it does help to create that barrier on your skin to make you not want to scratch at it and just kind of reconstruct your hydrolipidic film <coughs> excuse me and then lastly as far as the creams go Lifting complex cream, if you do feel like you have a lot of dehydration, you're a little bit dry as well, you can go with the lifting complex cream. So this is of course going to be much more anti-aging for you, but it's still not going to give um, like a really heavy film or anything like that. It's gonna give you all of the comfort that you need all while maintaining your anti-aging results and correcting really all of the first signs of aging that you have as well. And remember, all of the creams in Nelly are daytime as well as nighttime. And the key to really why they work so effectively is the way that the products are manufactured, okay? So diadermic method, I have spoken about it a little bit in the past. It's really just, um, it's a unique manufacturing process that's gonna help to preserve really the quality of all of the active ingredients that we are using in these wonderful products. Now, for those of you who want to improve or kind of just increase uh, the types of products that you're using, I, I, like I just said, all the products are daytime as well as nighttime. What you can do and really what I prefer doing is that I like to have the same cream for daytime as well as nighttime, but nighttime I'm gonna add an extra step to my routine. So those are the three different uh, products that could be good for your nighttime routine. So sensitive skin extract, if you are just somebody who spends a lot of time outdoors, now weather is changing, your sensitive skin extract is gonna help to rebuild your hydrolytic film, and this one you can actually mix into any of your moisturizers. So all you need to do is add a couple drops, just mix it in and apply it on, or you could always layer them. So Nelly, we're very, very strong with layering our products because that's just really how we do. Everything works by uh, molecular weight. So you always have your serum on first, then you add your oil, and then you add your, your cream. The um, sensitive skin extract is something that you can just directly mix in if you're just trying to quicken up your routine. The other one for somebody who wants to have all of their lipids but also get some regeneration going, you can go with the Cellular Matrix oil. So Cellular Matrix is going to have um, that barrage sheet oil which is so good for the skin regeneration. So this as well, you just have to add a couple drops. I don't recommend mixing the Matrix oil with your cream. It is something that you should actually be applying before putting on your cream. So this is probably the only one that I would say don't mix it in your cream. <clears throat> losing my voice. Don't mix it into your cream, sorry. So apply your serum on first if you have one, then put a couple drops of cellular matrix oil and then put your cream on top according to whatever it is that you want to work on. The matrix oil is also going to be extremely regenerating, so if you want to have the full effects, instead of putting it just, uh, just at nighttime, like I said for the sensitive skin extract, you should be using this twice a day. Now all the oils, remember, they can be used twice a day, but some people like to have a lighter type of moisturizer for daytime which is fine, and that's where you add your oils at night. And then the last oil that you can add to all of your nighttime routine is the Radiance Oil. So this is also something that I've added. Um, I know we've been talking a lot about the Lifting Peptide Serum and the Radiance Oil because these are currently my favorites for the seasonal change. Uh, skins are struggling quite a bit. So Radiance Oil is something that I add to every single night before I actually put on my serum. So unlike what I just said, whereas the other products we have to do serum, oil, and cream, in this one you're actually going to apply your um, radiance oil first, put on a couple drops, then after that you're going to follow with your serum and the cream according to your skin type. So dry versus dehydrated, right? So dry, flakiness, um, no pores, no amount of cream can make you feel comfortable, that's a good indicator that you have dry skin, and then dehydrated is combination skin, dilated pores in certain areas, but just no visible signs of flakes, just kind of constant tightness sensation. So you can add the Radiance Oil for either or of those skins. I love the Radiance Oil mainly because it's kind of like an antioxidant boost for nighttime. So you have your melatonin in here, you're gonna have some extra virgin olive oil that is cold pressed, so it is always very good for that. So it helps to kind of regenerate your skin overnight and give you that freshly rested skin pretty much every single day, even if you're not getting your full amount of sleep. So I don't believe there's any questions today, 
Uh, just so you know, the next videos will actually be posted through the Nelly Diverse Facebook page. So please go like and follow those ones, that page if it hasn't already been done. And I will see you next week. Uh, actually, I'll see you on Wednesday. Thanks.